Day 12, Friday, 2nd February 2024. Topic, Jesus, the greatest man I know. Philippians, chapter 2, verse 6 to 11. Acts of Apostles, chapter 3, verse 1 to 10. Acts, chapter 3, verse 14 to 16. And the Acts of Apostles, chapter 16, verse 16 to 18. Uh, the Bible references. It's right, certain, or put in another way, incontrovertible, that the name of Jesus, according to the word of God, in Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 to 10, is the greatest name over and above every other name, on earth and beneath the earth. On this note, at the mention of the name Jesus, all powers and authorities in heaven, on earth and beneath the earth, we fall on their needs and proclaim that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. He, according to the will of the Father, agreed to die the most ignominious type of death on the cross. When he was on earth, he allowed himself to be tempted, suffered pain, afflictions, deprivations, and persecution. He was humbled and the obedient to the Father in all things and never claimed equality with Him. Hence, the Father gave Him a name that is above every other name. This name Jesus, when mentioned in faith, brings about healing, deliverance, divine intervention, promotion, victories, vindications, great signs, wonders, and miracles. Child of God, I do not know what you are passing through. But I know that it has a name. Whatsoever circumstance surrounding you has a name. Childlessness, miscarriage, stroke, mental illness, mental disability, liver disease, heart failure, rising and falling, blindness, abortion of sources at the verge of accomplishment, poverty, wretchedness, and all kinds of infirmities. Hear me well. The name of Jesus is greater than all the challenges and the afflictions. In the scripture, so many sicknesses, affirmities, and diseases were healed by the apostles by the name of Jesus. Specifically, at the beautiful gate in Acts of Apostles, chapter 3, verse 1 to 10, Peter and John healed the man who had been lame from death in the name of Jesus. Because you are connected to this program, the Lord will intervene in your situation. Your negative circumstances will be reversed to positivity. You shall no longer be defeated by your enemies. In Exodus chapter 33 verse 19, the scripture says that I will show mercy to whom I will show mercy, and the compassion on whom I will show compassion. God will remember you. He will show you mercy. Your problems will not overwhelm you. All your challenges and the problems shall be neutralized and abolished in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Prayer points. 1. Lord, by the power in your name, Jesus, intervene in my situation and change my story. Amen. My Father, let every power working against my life, business, 
family be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Pray. O oh Lord, restore my glory and the everything I had lost in the name of Jesus. Amen. Four, we pray for our spiritual director, Evangelist Chukwebuka Anozie Obi and the Zion Prayer Movement Outreach for constant growth. We pray that the good Lord will make Evangelist Chukwebuka Anozie Obi to have good health, live long, and to protect the members of his family and the Zionites all over the world in Jesus' name. Amen. Prayer for self-deliverance. Living Amen as we end each paragraph. We do a lot good to your life, child of God. All powerful and the ever-living God, thank you for calling me as your son, daughter. Mention your name in the gap now. Mention your name because something is going to happen in your life. Something that will change you for good forever. Giving me life. All powers in heaven on earth belong to you. According to Matthew chapter 28 verse 18. May your name be praised forever. In Jesus name. Amen. Lord Jesus. I call upon you for my total deliverance today. For those who call your name will be saved. As he said in the book of Joel chapter 2 verse 32. Father. Manifest your greatness in my life. On this day, I reject all the works of Satan and his agents. I denounce all activities of the devil in and around my life. Amen. Every evil agreement I made with evil spirits, human beings, or kingdoms, I reject it by fire in Jesus' name. Amen. Any evil covenant I entered into, knowingly or unknowingly, I cleanse it away. With the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Any evil food I have eaten in the dream, causing me pains and sorrow, be neutralized by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Any evil drink given to me to drink in the dream, dry up by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every household wickedness scatter in Jesus' name. Amen. Every evil group, gang, meeting, Society calling my name to join them in any spirit or satanic world be scattered by fire in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, you have given me power and authority in Luke chapter 10 verse 19 over serpents, scorpions, and the, over the powers of my enemies. With this power, I command any evil power suppressing my life to be destroyed in Jesus' name. Amen. Any evil unknown link or connection with the devil and his agents. I disconnect and separate myself from me today in Jesus' name. Amen. Any evil mark on my body given to me by my father or mother attracting the presence of the devil in my life. O oh Lord, let your blood cleanse it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I separate myself from satanic activities and the agents. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I separate myself from evil societies and the groups. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I separate myself from wishes and wizards. Amen. O oh Lord, in your mercy, send forth your fire of deliverance to uproot any satanic projection in me as your word has declared in Matthew chapter 15 verse 13 that every plant which my heavenly father has not planted shall be uprooted in the name of jesus christ amen in the name of jesus christ i deliver myself from the spirit of lukewarmness amen in the name of jesus christ i deliver myself from walking like an elephant and eating like an ant amen in the name of jesus christ i deliver myself from spirit of poverty amen in the name of jesus christ i deliver myself from the spirit of late marriage, disappointment, and backwardness. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I deliver myself from the spirit of untimely death, lack, and want. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I deliver myself from the spirit of anger, hatred, hot temper, pride, jealousy, and drunkenness. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I deliver myself from spirit husband or wife, lesbianism, homosexuality, fornication, and adultery. Amen. Mighty God of deliverance, in Daniel chapter 3, verse 25, you delivered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego from 
fire of their enemies. Deliver me, O Lord. Amen. In Acts of Apostles chapter 16, verse 26, you delivered Paul and Silas from prison. Deliver me, O Lord. Amen. In Acts of Apostles chapter 12, verse 10, you delivered Peter from prison. Deliver me, O Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Daniel chapter 6, verse 22, Daniel, your son, was delivered from the lion's den. Deliver me, O Lord. Amen. O God of deliverance, set me free by your power and from any evil attitude, character, and a habit. Liberate me in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory of God, lose me from all evil strongholds. Amen. Anointing of God, liberate me from evil yokes of Satan. Amen. Spirit of God, liberate me from evil torments. Amen. Fire of God, liberate me from demonic hours. Amen. Blood of Jesus Christ, liberate me. Set me free from all powers of darkness. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. In all, I claim my total deliverance and the freedom. For in John chapter 8 verse 36, your word says that whosoever the Son of Man sets free is free indeed. I am free indeed. Amen and amen. Amen. Amen and amen. Amen. Child of God, claim you are free now indeed. Claim you are free. And so it shall be. You are free from bondages. And so it shall be. You are free from all the attacks from the enemy. And so it shall be. You are free from lock up. And so it shall be. You are free from that charm, and so it shall be. You are free from that evil arrow projected into your body, causing you ill, and so it shall be. You are free in the name of Jesus. By faith, you are free. Remember what the word of God says in the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 6. It is impossible to please God if you do not believe. So you must believe now that you are free, and because you are now free, you have to make others to be free. Remember your family, your loved ones, your friends, well wishers, and relatives. Help them to be free as well by sharing this message. By sharing this message in all your social media handles. So that people who have not come across it will have this opportunity to go through it and be free as well. And as you do that, may good Lord in heaven bless you abundantly. Provide you with all your heart desires in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And of course, the blessings of the Lord has no sorrow attached to it. So you will be blessed in the morning, afternoon, and night as you share this message in the name of Jesus Christ. It is well with you and your soul, child of God. Praise God, because today you have been liberated by Almighty God, and the soul it shall be in Jesus. And the healing and deliverance of God upon your life shall remain permanent in Jesus' mighty name. I pray. Amen.